Hey Canucks fans, some great news for fans of the club. The Vancouver Canucks have announced that they have signed free agent center Puce Suter to a two-year contract, 1.6 AAV for each of those two years. I love this signing for the Vancouver Canucks. I've been talking about Suter ever since he became a free agent at the end of last season. I've especially talked about him in the last few days on my live streams, talking about how the Canucks need more depth. God forbid if Pedersen or Miller get hurt at center, we needed someone who could step up in and fill some top six minutes. Suter can do that. Now Suter can slot in properly as our third line center. Bluger and Neil Zaman can fight for that fourth line center role. But more importantly, we have more depth overall. So, so many reasons why I like the signing. A signing that really we didn't hear much about. This Rutherford and Alvin regime does a pretty good job of keeping things under wraps. Things don't leak like they did under Benning. And now we have a brand new third line center that uh, under a cost of very reasonable 1.6 AAV for two seasons. So let's get into all the reasons why this is a really good pickup for the Vancouver Canucks. But first, let's talk about Suter himself. 27 years old, turned 27 in May, not drafted. So his first year was with Chicago. He went, uh, actually, talk about how big he is. He's not that big. He's actually only five foot nine. Uh, sorry, he's not bad. He's five foot 11. 180 pounds so average size 5'11 180 and he is a center like i said not drafted goes to the blackhawks in his first season 2020 2021 plays 55 games and basically has a point every two games 14 goals 13 assists 27 points in 55. for some reason the blackhawks do not resign him goes to detroit then plays 82 games and goes uh, 15 goals 21 assists 36 points in 82 games and then the last season he had played in 79 games 14 12 and 24 a bit of a drop off so 24 points in 79 games but the cool thing is since he's come in the league he's been very durable last two seasons played 82 for all 82 games for detroit then 79 and then remember he joined chicago halfway through their season so it's not like he, he missed a third of the season because of injury so he's been very durable so that's a good thing he's also played on some pretty poor teams chicago and detroit have been pretty bad teams over the past three seasons yet he has still put up 0.4 points per game you add up all those stats i just talked about it's actually 43 goals and 44 assists so very even 43 and 44 87 points in 216 games and again that's 0.4 points per game that's exactly what you want out of a third line center much much better production both in his so far historically and likely potential than teddy bluger so i really like the signing firstly from the offensive point of view he's gonna have, he has We've got more skill, more potential, more upside than Teddy Bluger, who we thought was going to be our third line center all the way up until today. So that's that's a positive thing. Suter can also kill penalties, which is great. And we know how bad our penalty kill is was last season. We don't have to go into it that much. And I, the one thing I said at the top is uh, this is a very important depth signing for the Vancouver Canucks. Because like I said, if Petey or Miller go down for any amount of time, Suter can fill in a top six role. So whoever Petey and Miller is still around, they'll go to the top line and then Suter can fill in on the second line as opposed to Bluger, who I think would be, even the third line center is probably Bluger playing too high. So imagine Bluger trying to fill in a top six role. So now down the middle of the Canucks look so much better. They have Petey, they have Miller, they have Suter, they have Bluger and Niels Oman. So like I said, Bluger and Oman can fight for that fourth line center role of course the Canucks are going to still have to do some stuff when it comes to the salary cap you're allowed to be 10 percent over the cap all the way until the start of the season so the Canucks are still fine there's obviously this questions about Tanner Pearson there's the questions about Tucker Pullman are either of those guys going to be ready probably Pearson yes Pullman no so but not all of that five and a half million dollars is going to be on LTIR only Pullman's portion so now the Canucks still have to shed salary whether that's a trade of Tyler Myers whether that's a trade of one of their their wingers, their high price wingers, which I know they've been trying to do, but there doesn't seem to be a big market for those guys. Regardless, um, the Canucks are now even a much deeper team. So when you add up kind of the the additions, the true new players of Susi, Cole, Bluger, and now Suter, that looks great. You fill in a full season of Phil Hronik, a full healthy season of Ilya Mikheyev. And then now you're looking at a third of our roster basically being turned over. You know what I'm trying to say is I think the Canucks have potential to be a playoff team. And that's what I talked about in my live stream last night. Suter, a great offensive game. We've seen that in points, 
12.4 points per game throughout his three-year career. Good on defense as well. Despite playing on those two crappy teams, his plus minus was hovering close, relatively close to even. Uh, was never never really too bad. So that's that's a pretty good sign for for a player like him. So I think he's there's a wonderful signing for the Canucks. I love the cost. I love the term two years. So it's it's more than one year, obviously, because two is more than one, but not a, not a long term. So it's really you could say it's relative a relatively low risk contract here and a, a contract that's going to a player that's going to bring a lot of depth um, to and stability to our bottom six. So I love this move. I, I think this is great for the Vancouver Canucks. And now, um, yeah, I just think our team is simply that much stronger, much stronger than we were yesterday. Canucks fans, let me know your thoughts. Put in the comments below. What do you think of the signing? Pierce Suter, two years, $1.6 million per year. And what does it do for our lineup? Let me know in the comments below. We'd love to read, react, and reply as well, as always. So, uh, I haven't, you know, I haven't been in my car for so long. I forget how to end these vlogs. This is what I'm supposed to say. Shout out to my sponsors, Vancy Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, Legendary Lucas Gates, Legendary, Legendary Carol Bovelander, Legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and Franchise members as well. And thanks to all of you for watching. I always appreciate you and I never take you for granted. So on your way out, subscribe, like the video, leave a tip, become a member, upgrade your membership and leave a comment below your thoughts on this Pius, Pius, Pius Suter. I got to get used to that. I would say his last name. Let me know what you think of the suitor signing, what it means for the Vancouver Canucks. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. God bless, and go Canucks Co.